The story of Jean and Rebecca Toby is heart-wrenchingly beautiful. Immediately after they met in the early 1980s, they realized that their partnership was a marriage of two hearts and two minds. I was running an art gallery in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and Jean Toby was one of the artists that I represented in the gallery, and I had talked to him for two years before I met him for the first time. And the day he walked into the gallery, it was as though all of the lights in the gallery went out and there was a spotlight on this incredible man who walked into my life. In 1985, Jean and Rebecca were married. They began collaborating artistically, showing in art galleries across the United States. Together, Jean and Rebecca pioneered large, brightly colored ceramic animals. Then, in 1993, they received life-changing news when Jean was diagnosed with a rare lung disease. The lung disease was kept in check by a chemotherapy drug, which after a period of 10 years caused chromosome damage. And at that point, the doctors at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston told him he had two and a half years. And all of a sudden, he began to just create in the most amazing way. He was just creating things so quickly. And it was as though he had a sixth sense that his end was in sight, although like most of us, he fought um, the inevitability of his death. At the very end of his life, he was still creating sculpture. On January 4, 2006, at the age of 60, Gene Toby passed away. Before he passed away, we decided that I would continue on um, creating sculpture and, and continuing forward with the designs that um, he and I had created together. I have several sculptures started at home already, um, and I'm going to continue painting and creating new jewelry and creating new sculptures as the years go by. Gene's legacy lives on in the works he created throughout his lifetime, and now through the people and ideas he left behind to carry on that legacy. I always refer to him as a little bear of a man, and the last two years that he was alive, all of a sudden he began sculpting more birds, more eagles, um, ravens, and that sort of thing. Since he's died, I have felt that he is the bird. I see him, I see hawks every time I travel, I see him everywhere. New and old works of Jean, Rebecca, and Joshua Toby are on display at Exposure's International Gallery of Fine Art, where you too can fall in love with the art, the love, and the legend of the Toby family.